When WatchOS 4 released to the public, along with Apple Watch Series 3, Apple removed the ability to browse an iPhone's music library on your watch. While WatchOS 4.1 won't fully bring back the capability, it'll allow users to view their iCloud music library, including Apple Music songs, iTunes store purchases, and songs matched to the cloud through the iTunes Match service. Users will then be able to stream any song from iCloud Music Library over a tethered iPhone or Wi-Fi. And if you have an LTE connected Series 3 model, it'll even stream music directly to the device without your phone or a Wi-Fi network nearby. WatchOS 4.1 will also include a new radio app that will let you stream any Apple Music radio station over LTE. But it requires a subscription to Apple Music to listen to stations beyond Beats 1, and it's available for a minimum of $9.99 a month. If you have an LTE connected Series 3 model, streaming over LTE will greatly reduce battery life. And if you have a non-LTE Series 3 model, or any other Apple Watch version, there is no streaming at all, so you'll still want to store as many songs as you possibly can directly on your Apple Watch, especially if you run or bike outdoors, or want to leave your phone behind when you go to the gym. Here's how to load music and playlists to your Apple Watch with WatchOS 4 and iOS 11. To make things more organized, I decided to create a special playlist specifically for my Apple Watch. In WatchOS 3, Apple gave users a choice of up to 2 gigabytes of music or 250 total songs. This option has disappeared with WatchOS 4, and it's unclear how the system decides how much music is allowed to be synced to the watch. Though, the Apple Watch Series 3 with LTE does have double the storage of any other Apple Watch model, so it should hold more. Now head into the Watch app, scroll down, and tap into Music. Here you'll see a heavy rotation option. This feature automatically loads music that you listen to often. Now we can tap Add Music. We're met with a bunch of ways to search and add music, but we'll go ahead and add our Apple Watch playlist. Now it may seem like we're finished, but we actually have to place the Apple Watch on its charger to sync and load the music directly on the watch. Once the process is complete, you're all done and free to ditch your iPhone at home and play music directly from your Apple Watch, all without LTE connectivity. Now when you do have your phone nearby, but don't want to pull it out to search through and play music, you can use your Apple Watch to ask Siri to play music from your phone, regardless of whether it's in your Apple Music library or not. You can then instantly add any song to your library, and later load it onto your Apple Watch. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.